Hello there, everyone. The Andrada here, and welcome to episode two of our Better Minecraft Plus Let's Play series, where today we are working on building a house, maybe a little create. Let's see what happens. Okay, so in between episodes, I did a bit of exploring, a bit of building. Um, yeah, sorry, but I tried to do a time lapse. I was going to use the uh, replay mod to do a time lapse of me building this thing so you guys could see it. But the replay mod doesn't work in Forge versions anymore, apparently. So, yeah, we got that going for us. So I couldn't really do a time lapse or anything. Um, but yeah. Anyway, so Baobomb. There is um, a Baobomb forest over here because my initial idea with all of this uh, which is what I was looking for when we started. So spawn is all the way over here. And what I was looking for was like some kind of big forest that um, maybe we could build like in the treetops uh, and have like a tree house kind of treetop, you know, treetop setup where we could build a bunch of structures up in the treetops and all that stuff. So I came across this Baobomb forest and, you know, it, it would have probably worked. But then I was like, you know, let's see, maybe... Maybe there's something else. Um, I have been uh, watching Chosen Architects play through with Better Minecraft Plus, and he is in a, I think, stone forest. Um, so I uh, wanted to look for one of those to see maybe I could find something like that and build across the, you know, stone towers and stuff, similar to how, he, how he's doing it. So I uh, went down here, ran into this swampy area, and I said, okay, forget that. And then I came up here. And then I just started beelining straight and just to see what I could find. Um, came across the ocean here in which I, where is my chests? Over here. Made a rowboat. Um, I made an extra or a large rowboat. Um, so you have your regular boat and then you have a large boat, which is just a little bit bigger. The advantage with this though, being that you can put a chest in the boat and then you can, uh, you know, have a chest with you. Yeah, anyway, um, though I didn't do that. So I explored some more, came across, uh, the, you know, swam through here. Ocean is very dangerous in this pack. You have to be extremely careful if you're going to go into the ocean because there are leviathans, there are sea serpents. There were points where I was zigzagging, pedaling straight as fast as we can until we can get on land to get away from things. Um, anyway, so then came across here, found this. This is a leviathan bone structure so it's just all bone blocks in quartz bone and quartz but i didn't grab any of it because i was just you know at this point i was tired of exploring um and then i hit the ocean again so then i decided to go straight across and then i ran into a stone forest but it wasn't as i wanted it it wasn't ideal so then we booked our way back over to the amaranth area and that is where we have called home there's quite a few things we're going to need to explore. We've got this Leviathan. That sound, if you hear that sound, that explosion, that means there is a star that has fallen from the sky somewhere. I've been trying to figure out what it was. I'm like, is that a creeper or something? But no, there is a star piece that fell from the sky. I have a few of them. Yes, these sky fragments. Uh, and you can do stuff with them. Where did it go, though? It's somewhere in this area. Nah, 100% sure. It might be up in our uh, base, quote-unquote, up top here. It's not much of a base. I need to put some lights on this side. I don't like using these torches, but... Uh, one thing with this pack is torches placed depending on where on the... Uh, block. You can place them on the top or the bottom. I don't know, is that a normal Minecraft thing? I don't remember ever that being the case, but it's it's highly possible it's a normal Minecraft thing. Um, anyway, I can't find this star fragment. Oh, wait, there it is. Boop. But these star fragments, if you collect enough of them, you can create um, the Keeper of Heaven, which gets no fall damage, and I believe it lets you... The ability makes it so you can fly? Like... Or it just like pulls you up into the sky kind of thing, it's like a, a form of flight. So I'm going to keep collecting these things as I hear that. We are like close to having enough. We just need what, seven? Yeah. Seven of them. What is this other thing that you can make with them too? Sky bullets? Like, what are you used for? There's got to be some kind of gun. 
Um, but anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get my sleeping bag out and let's take a little nap. So that was uh, the harvest moon rises. Your crops provide a better harvest. Okay. Um, but yeah, so that was my adventuring. And then I decided to settle out over here. This is about the flattest area. Unfortunately, this thing is like all textured, which looks great when you're looking at it, but it was a pain for building. Um, so I started building. So I had a whole bunch of the baobab from when we were in the baobab area. Um, and then I came across one of these taigas and was able to get some swoofs, swoofs, spruce from these uh, taigas here. So that's what we've been using, baobab and spruce. And I've kind of just come up with this little design-ish thing here. So I figure, you know, we'll build up on to stilts underneath. We could have like, you know, some cows and sheep and some chickens. Maybe we can, you know, texturize this with the uh, hay bales. Don't I have hay bales? Yes. Like if we were to go, you know, put these hay bales in here, it looks like, you know, this is for for farm animals kind of thing. You know, they can uh, come in here and eat and we can, uh, you know, do some grass paths or some dirt or something like that. Something we can figure it out uh, as we go, like maybe here and here and here, something like that. So this is like a animals, maybe a, if we ever, if we get a horse, we can put a horse there. I don't like that being symmetrical, but it is what it is. Um, and then over here, this guy got trapped as I was building. Don't even know what his trades are. Let's see. Banner pattern, bluebell, snowy tundra map, and some emeralds. If I give him a shield, he will give me 10 emeralds. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That's a pretty dang easy, uh, easy, easy to do. Where's my iron? Iron. Uh, let me get some wood. Uh, oak will work. Shield. Like, how many of these you want, buddy? Let's make a... Let's just do one and see what happens. Ten emeralds for a couple pieces of wood is a fantastic trade. That's it? Just one? Okay, that's fine. But I got ten emeralds out of that, uh, so I'm not going to complain. Jungle saplings? I don't know if I need jungle saplings. So, yeah, cool. Didn't even look at his trades. Um, so, yeah, that's where we are at, essentially. What I need to do is work on getting our storage situated, because as you can see, I'm operating out of my backpack. Uh, I'm operating out of these two chests here. We need, to, we need to figure out how we can centralize this and organize it and go from there. Uh, just to let you know, these oak leaves are a godsend when it comes to building. Just place the oak leaves. I mean, if I had scaffolding and if I had bamboo, I would use that. I don't think I ran into any, I didn't see any bamboo. I wasn't really looking out for it though, but I didn't see any, but scaffolding would be helpful too. Um, but anyway, so we go up here and obviously it's not finished. We don't have a roof on it, but we can come in here. We have like a little, you know, hallway area. There's my bed. We can put stuff in here, like furnace, smoker, I don't know, something like that. And then if we come out here, we have like a little balcony. We can put some like, you know, if we put some leaves here and we got some grassy stuff and everything like, you know, like makes it look nice. I should not have broke that with that. But yeah, we can decorate as we see fit for now. Um, maybe get some pressure plates so we can close these doors automatically when we walk through. But yeah, that's where we are at. And this is going to be like a uh, tower. I have enough cobble. I uh, made the mistake of when we were in that stone forest, I mined some cobble. And then I made the mistake of turning it all into cobblestone bricks um, because I was going to build out of the cobblestone initially. And then I'm like, well, maybe not. That doesn't look super nice. Um, so I was like going to make this a uh, tower, I guess. And uh, yeah, just have this little little modern or well it's industrial it's uh it's not industrial it's um rustic i guess medieval there we go that's the term a medieval tower you know just sit next to this i don't know what the heck i'm going to do on the inside of it what i am going to do on the inside of it now though is put a torch do i have any more coal i do let's get some of these planks and some torches. There we go. 
I don't want anything spawning in here. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Maybe, I mean, it may just stay like an accent piece. Uh, I made a bunch of stone pickaxes with our cobble before I ended up, you know, flubbing it up. But yeah, anyway, this is our, this is going to be our base. And then we can expand out. We have this whole amaranth field that we can expand out to. And, uh, you know, as we get stuff, we're going to have some create farms over here. We're going to have some, uh, I don't even know. I'm excited to see where we end up with all this. So, yeah. So let me, uh, let's build up this tower that I have going on here that I don't know what I'm going to use, do with, but it's here. It exists. Let's put another window, I guess. I'm too high. Probably going to end up running out of cobble. Remember, I'm not I'm not the greatest builder. So if this if you guys have any suggestions for anything, um, I know I could probably use like mossy cobblestone, but I don't even know how I would get mossy cobblestone. Um, no, I need like mossy cobble. There's so many different building blocks. It's hard to find just like standard. Yeah, moss blocks, vines. I'd have to go find some vines. I guess the uh, jungle tree would be helpful for that. If I really wanted to. Um, but yeah. And then what do we want to do? Do we want to like. Uh, do we want to build out one and expand this? Or do I want to just like, uh, you know, maybe boop, boop. Give it some like little minarets. So it looks like a castle kind of thing. How's that look? Another star. I do not like the cobble. I do not like the cobble bricks. Uh, this will. This is going to get replaced, and I should put this here, and this window should go here. I think that'll look better. And then we can put this here, 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 and here. It also needs a roof on it. So let's go ahead and build this up. And I need to close this off. But we will be swapping this out from for probably stone bricks. I think stone bricks would look better than these cobblestone bricks because this is not very flattering, I don't think. It looked good from down below, but or like the first layer, but building this out, that does not, it just doesn't look right. Is what I'm saying makes sense? I do not like the texture of this. You can't see into the windows very well. It just gives a weird, weird, weird vibe. But anyway, so we're getting there. We've got some kind of semblance of a house. I need to get like a, I need more stone, which is why I started recording and stopped. I need to get a roof put onto this thing and I need like, cobblestone stairs or a brick stairs. So I want to get some uh, coal. We want to get going. There are those guys over there. If you can see, those are like uh, dragons. Avoid them. They are aggressive and they will kill you, but you can tame them later. Where did I put my stars in here? But yeah, I don't like that. If I could vein mine, I would tear it all down right now. I do not like that. Same I am. Um, but we need to texturize here. We need to build um, maybe like a, what if we, what if we, you know, built like a uh, wall coming off of here. A lot of this is just me, you know, um, other people I've seen other people do similar things just off the top of my head, you know, this is uh, where we're at. Does that look, I mean, obviously, again, the cobblestone part doesn't look great, but it's like a courtyard for our little castle here, I guess. Man, even just regular cobblestone would probably have looked better. I do not like that. Anyway, uh, we need to get mining. I need to get uh, down into the ground. We need to start working on getting a mining something set up. So let's work on finding an area where we want to set up a mine. Maybe this can be the mine, now that I think about it. 
Like, why can't we um, do this? You can put this here and we can put this here and this could be a mine shaft. Normally I would do like stairs or something, but I think this time I'm going to do a uh, straight dig down like a three by three and then put, um, or maybe just this, no, not this whole thing. Yeah, we'll just we'll just dig a hole down to bedrock and get some ladders and everything. I've got the wood, so I'm not too concerned about it. Let's go get a bunch of ladders. Um, I also have some of this wood that I found, some cherry wood. But let's, uh, what do we want to use? We want to use spruce. I have less spruce than I do baobab, but I'm not using oak for anything right now. So let's go ahead and use oak. And let's get ladders. I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to use all of the oak. Um, now we can sleep. Well, we have all the oak. Um, ladders. There are so many different types of blocks in here. I need oak ladders. Yes. And I need sticks. So let's do that. And then... I'm shifting. There we go. Uh, let's just do, yeah, 56 ladders. I think that looks okay. And then we need some shovels. And I ran out of stone because, again, I turned all my stuff into into cobblestone bricks, and you can't build with those, which is very unfortunate. Um, I tried out spruce doors. Those are classic doors from Macaws. I thought I got rid of these, but they did not look good, so... Um, ba -ba 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 what am I looking for? I am looking for, I guess, these so I can make some more sticks. And a couple of shovels. Man, those stars are frequent, aren't they? Um, and I have some stone pickaxes here. Let's go ahead and dump all this extra stuff in one of these chests. And like I said, uh, we will figure out what the heck we are doing with all of this. I'll try and organize uh, all of this stuff in between episodes. That way we can, you know, have some semblance of order here. Where did that star go? How many of these do we have now? Five? I just need two more and I can make whatever the heck this sword thing is that it has. Is that sword enchantable? What is that? Astamir's Arse Sky Fragment. Astamir's. That's what I said. But I uh, didn't type an at symbol. Yeah, are you enchantable? You are absolutely enchantable. I wonder what you do. Just a no fall damage is nice. And then, I mean, we don't take fall damage because of our boots in the first place. But still, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and start digging. So I'm just going to dig down until we get down to the bedrock level. And then from there, we can create offshoots for our mining. But generally, Y level 11-ish is where you want to mine. It's where all your diamonds and stuff are. And yeah, uh, I will come back when we are down below. Change my mind. Um, I want to get into uh, a mod that we have not used for a while, and that is Tetra. I don't actually know if I ever used Tetra. I, I, I started it in my Enigmatica 6 playthrough and never went anywhere with it. But if I'm going to be doing all this digging and stuff, I want to do it properly with Tetra and start leveling up a tool and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's grab some of these Zelkova planks because I don't really have much else use for them. We're going to make a crafting table. Oh, we can just make a standard one because I don't know if the, this one is going to actually do what we want it to. Um, so we're going to take this and then we will... Wait, what was that? Oh, I can... Cr if I have a crafting table in my inventory, I can... That is convenient. Well, heck yeah, that's going to get a permanent slot right there. Check that out. I have a portable crafting table. That's actually pretty darn nifty. Uh, let's go ahead and make another one of those then. Or we could try and use this. We can see what happens. Um, but what we need to do is make a hammer. A tetra hammer. Um, 
Yes, wooden hammer. So just take some sticks and some planks and we can make a hammer. So let's go ahead and get some sticks. And bam, bam, give me that. Yeah, look, these Alcova planks don't, or dictionary properly, so it doesn't do what I want it to. Um, and I used all my oak. Here we go. All right, we're actually gonna end up needing two hammers because we kind of have to use one to upgrade one. So let's do this and get two hammers. Uh, and then there's also a rack, which requires iron nuggets. I do have some iron, but I don't want to go ahead and tear that down yet. So we're not going to worry about it. Um, and by completing that quest, it gave us the hollow sphere. Or by doing that, we have the hollow sphere. So Tetra, if you've never played with Tetra, it is very similar to Tinker's Construct, in which you can take tools and modify them. Yeah, look, it doesn't work doesn't work with this crafting table. I don't know why I just broke that with my shovel either. Can we recraft that? No. What you have to do is place this down and then smack it with a hammer and it turns into a Tetra workbench. Let's go ahead and put this away. Um, and we have a little bit of cobblestone, so we can go ahead and start this. So, like I said, it is very much like Tinkers, in which you can take a tool and you can modify it, you can build it up. Um, you've got bows, you've got all kinds of stuff. So, for example, if we wanted to um, make single-headed shovel, I guess, it lists all the different materials you can use, all of its stats for that material, you know, whether you can actually craft it, things like that. It can be very complicated, very overwhelming. Uh, we will get into this, but we're probably going to get into tinkers at some point. I just don't have clay, sand, grout, all that stuff. But we'll play with tink Tetra to start with and then see where we end up. But the way that it works is you put your tool, your item in there, and then you can um, click on these different sections and you can upgrade it. So what we're going to do is upgrade this guy to cobblestone. And the cool thing is in your inventory, you'll see it lights or it puts a ring around the item when you're able to use it for that specific area. Um, so we are going to go ahead and put the stone hammer and we're going to upgrade this guy to a stone hammer head. That way, he is now a level two hammer, right? So we put this in here, we'll see this is a level two hammer. And we put this hammer in there, we will see it is a level one hammer. So what you wanna do is uh, essentially, you want two hammers, that way you can use one to upgrade the other and then cycle through as you go and you can uh, continue upgrading. So you have one hammer doing your upgrading, one hammer sitting waiting to be upgraded. Does that make sense? I hope so. But anyway, what we can do is first off, you can put your pickaxe in here and you can repair it. If you put your cobblestone in there, we just repaired it. And we have now made this a Tetra pickaxe. So what this means is with our pickaxe, we can change things. So if we wanted to add a shovel head to this, we could uh, put a sickle. Oh, I thought we could put a shovel, maybe an adds. Um, provide shovel and axe tool capability. So we could have one pickaxe that does shoveling and um, hammering or pickaxing, which is pretty cool. But the important thing with this is, is that we can level it up. If you see down there where it says hone zero out of 290, the honing is the level of the tool. So we can level it up um, by breaking 290 blocks. And then that allows us to get things like um, efficiency or things like that onto our tool and speed them up and just make them better just like you can with tinker or yeah with tinkers you can upgrade your tools so anyway so we have this we're gonna go ahead and keep this um and most likely i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna bring this guy with us while i'm going down because i got a while to go we're gonna need to upgrade our or well we're gonna have to repair our pickaxe but what it means is i don't need these extra things because we can always just repair this one so let's find somewhere i can just uh i have my water source over here we can just but it all it now means we don't have to have all of this stuff in our inventory you know we can just have one tool if i just bring my ha bring a hammer and crafting table with me i don't have to worry about um repairing or breaking my pickaxe and then i can upgrade it to iron later 
which will allow me to mine different things because we do have iron, but it will cost iron to mine. So just, just something to keep in mind. I don't even have enough cobblestone for a furnace. Uh, let's go ahead and put the hoe away. We can put the planks away, this extra dirt. Uh, we have a hammer. We can put that extra hammer away. I don't think we're going to need our slime sling for this. The iron can go away. We have food. We have a building block. I'll bring the axe with me just in case. But anyway, that's what I wanted to work on. We have friends coming to visit us. That guy looks intense. So we're going to kind of like, you know, not want to deal with him. Um, and yeah, I'm going to keep digging now that we have this tool and we'll come back in a bit. And yeah. All right. So we're back up top. Uh, I needed to, I forgot that every once in a while your tool requires a different material to repair. And I forgot about that aspect. Um, so this time in order to repair our pickaxe, we needed sticks and I didn't have any sticks. So, uh, but luckily, it's only one stick that this required. But if you look at our tool, our honing is at 254 out of 290. So it is slowly but surely getting upgraded. Um, but it's about wrapping up point. I didn't realize when I cut last episode that we are we're getting there. Um, I've dug pretty far down so far. And I realize I messed up my counting on this. So really, you know, torch should be here and here. If I want aesthetically everything to match, I need to get a door here of some sorts and you know this area can be decorated a little bit we don't need you know this dirt can be turned into stone and you know we can make this look nicer but anyway nice thing with our slime boots we can just jump off um, we do take some fall damage if you hold shift that will make you land immediately but it does negate quite a bit of the fall damage and apparently these things don't have durability so that is nice um but anyway, yeah, so we're just, I'm just going to continue digging down in between episodes. We'll do a little bit of mining and then uh, come back and do some more stuff. Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe we're going to get into create because mining, I don't like mining. Mining, mining is, uh, you know, slow. This drives me nuts. Um, as y'all know, I am a tech pack player, not a vanilla. So doing this whole process, I want something three by three, five by five, seven by seven that I can just pump full of power and do the mining for me, right? Create can do that. Um, so we are going to one, two, three, you go here. We're going to be diving into it and do the mining for us. Um, we got to ride along. We're going to, we got, I got a machine in mind. I think uh, it was uh, Rage Plays Games. I saw do a pretty darn sweet looking auto miner um that would just digs tunnels for you and you know does all the work and you don't have to worry about it and that's most likely what we're going to be setting up um, as you can see there real quick uh our uh, handle our flimsy handle has settled and what that means is that it, it just gives you bonus effects makes it a little bit faster um gives it a little bit more durability things like that so yeah just uh Overall, you upgrade your tools as you go. But anyway, that's it for this episode. So if you enjoyed, we are very close to ourselves. Uh, if you enjoyed, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate it. It really does help out the channel. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.